Welcome to About the Shoes, and today we'll be reviewing the Nike Victory 2s in the winning colorway. These are, uh, the winning colorway consists of the Boking Black, the Boking Black Upper, and the Saltine White Midsole made up of Phylon, and then the Gold Spikes made out of real gold medals from the Olympics. shoes up the other day from a gear running store for the new Nike promotion. Uh, my boy Patrick's Rob Swazi, you know, he hooked me up with these. And not just only the spikes, you know, he also hooked me up with this great high quality uh, Lime Gren uh, spike tool. <laughs> and the uh, the caution tape laces. Oh crap. I'm, I'm afraid. I gotta get out of here. There's Police. So my competitors can really fear me and you know know I'm a legit competitor. So the technology in these shoes are pretty advanced. You know it's meant for the greatest runner runners. Uh, they only win. You know that's why it's called the Nike Victory because you know you, if you don't win with them, you can't wear the shoe anymore. Nike actually comes to your house and steals them. But uh, the reason that these shoes are so good is they have some great technology involved in them. You know, the single layer mono mesh upper, that's just some great ultra light uh, technology, it has a glove like feel. The, uh, the fly wire here and uh, right there as well, it really helps for that glove like feel, you know, that's what you're looking for in a nice spike. It's also got the Phylon midsole along here, it's some great foam, some zoom Phylon foam, great responsiveness, probably Nike's most responsive spoke on the market. And then they got the uh, the nice spike plate. These are this is a great spike plate, extra responsive, you know, all around. You can really go the distance. There's uh, multiple tiers of sweatshops they use, and the best ones are only used for their spikes, you know, because they gotta have the most the children with the most nimble fingers making such such uh, elite spikes, you know, that are held together so finely, because these things are, they're less than four ounces, you know. Most sweatshop workers can't even, like, they can't even make something that light. But, uh, yeah, these spikes, they're extremely light, made in the best sweatshops, and, uh, the first athlete to ever wear these were, uh, Nike's own Galen Rupp, you know. He, uh, wore these during his marathon trials, you know. These are really good distance spikes, you know. And uh, he actually won his first marathon he ever ran with uh, the help from these spikes and Testo Boost. Uh, some cons of this shoe are that because of how light and uh, how advanced this material is, your feet aren't necessarily used to how responsive it is. they are. So uh, sometimes when you move your foot and the shoe moves with it, you actually uh, try and overcompensate and push a little bit too far on the edges so that uh, tends to ripping in the upper. But, uh, you know, these shoes are lighter, so that's quite an advantage. They're lighter than the Nike Victory XC3s. We did a review on the NXN, very limited edition version of that. If you want to check those out, click right here. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and uh, tell us what to do next in the comment section.